It was not enough for her to be the Princess of New York, the golden millionaire of the Big Apple. Marie Chantal Miller grew up in the most ostentatious affluence, a product of the entrepreneurial spirit of her father, Robert Warren Miller, owner of DFS Duty Free, present in hundreds of airports around the world, and a fortune estimated at 1.5 billion euros. He always thought he was rude, so he wanted to give his daughters a great education. Even his wife, Ecuadorian socialite Maria Clara Pesantes Bezerra, changed her name to the more cosmopolitan Marie Chantal Pesantes. Miller Patriarchin wanted what the new money doesn't give him, history. And for that he used his three daughters, Marie Chantal, Alexandra, and Pia. The girls' childhoods were spent in Hong Kong, but after graduation they made a pilgrimage to the most exclusive schools in the West, where the children of the old European elite are educated. All three attended the prestigious Swiss boarding school Lou Rosi, where the venerable King Don Juan Carlos, the Aga Khan, the last Shah of Iran, Reza Pahlavi, and Prince Rainier of Monaco studied. Then they studied at the University of Paris, the cradle of refinement. Young Marie Chantal lived in her own special environment of Paris Hilton before Paris could get into the clubs. After Paris, she enrolled at the New York Academy of Art and won a scholarship to the Andy Warhol factory, where she left with four portraits under her arm, paid for with her father's gold, Warhol adored millionaires. At her graduation dinner she was photographed with two of the creatives of the time, Keith Haring and Stephen Sprouse. In the 1990s, the three Miller sisters made their father's dream come true. Pia Christina, two years younger than Marie Chantal, married Christopher Getty, almost a king in a particularly mainstream goth America. Natasha Alexandra, Jr. married Prince Alexander Egon von Furstenberg, son of Prince Egon von Furstenberg and fashion designer Diane von Furstenberg. The marriages were short-lived, 13 years for the former and 4 years for the latter. The piece was intended for Marie Chantal, son of King Constantine of Greece, to whom she was married for 26 years. A quarter of a century during which she wanted to be a princess and not a princess, as if she were the property of Windsor. So much so that Queen Letizia allowed herself the luxury of publicly disfiguring her behavior during the famous incident in Palma de Mallorca Cathedral with Queen Sophia, Maria Chantal of Greece's automatic perfection seems to compensate for her lack of family territory, banished for the most part to Great Britain. In fact, at least publicly, she has set aside her family heritage to immerse herself fully in her royal destiny. His children are named Maria Olympia, Constantine, Aquileia, Odysseus and Aristide to make it clear that they are part of the royal family. In short, money, power and history are beautifully intertwined in this marriage. Not without reason they met in 1992 at Philippe Niarco's birthday party in New Orleans, a love affair confirmed by a weekend in the snow in Gestad and a wedding arranged by Queen Elizabeth of England and King Juan Carlos himself. A quarter of a century together showed an unrivaled team, forming a tandem of royalty and billionaires, as the careers of Paul de Grigias and Marie Chantal were flawless. Of course, it was incredible to see them at a gala held at the luxurious St. Regis Hotel in Washington, D.C. in honor of Donald Trump on the eve of his inauguration as President of the United States in January 2017. Let's not forget that Paul Gretsch's father-in-law, billionaire Robert Miller, also has a business relationship with media mogul Rupert Murdoch, owner of, among others, Fox News, a network that was a major supporter of the Trump campaign. In addition to serving on her father's board of directors, Marie Chantal founded a luxury children's clothing company that bears her name and has also published a book on manners for children. Prince Paul, who studied at Georgetown University, Washington, with King Philip, has founded Ortelius Capital, a successful international investment fund management company in London. In a recent interview, Princess Marie Chantal summed up her work philosophy, I have never abused my family. I would die if anyone thought I was taking advantage of my position.